talking about. Just what I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Got it! Holy crap! And whatever it was made my hook all exposed. This method will work right here eventually, I just don't know if I'll get the right kind, but it's worth a try. Oh yeah! Man, oh, big crappie! Whoa, on a worm on the bottom, man! Holy crap! That's not a bad crappie at all. Plain. Has no color to him. It's because the water's so dingy. Folks, I just caught a crappie on a worm on the bottom. I've never caught a crappie on the bottom and I'm 41 years old. Never. They don't bite on the bottom. He's 10 inches, man. Wow. Whoo. Hey, I thought it was a little bullhead to be honest. So I'm happy. Heck yeah, that, oh man, I just found me a new crappie hole. Way in there. It's a nice. Uh, dang, I've I've known that. I would have brought the bucket. She'd like to. I don't know about eating them out of here though. I'm sure it ain't real bad. That water really kind of filters out going through the fields in a way. More than what. Nice little white crappie. Nine to ten inches. On a night crawler without even a bobber. Very rare that happens. He's real plain because this water's so dingy. He's just plain white. Nice fish anyway. Man. <laughs> i try to turn him loose where I don't scare the other ones. Oh yeah. I got something real big. Oh man, come on, come on, come on. Got it. Red ear. Yes, new species in here. Red ear sunfish. That ain't bad. Cool. Folks, that was my first red ear out of this place. I'm coming back for sure now. I figured out how to fish it. Man, he's seven. It's not bad for a red ear. Guess what he did? All the damn hook. God. Holy crap. Probably don't live anyway. I feel bad, but I had no choice. If I would have even tried to pull that out, it would have died for sure. Alright, we're going to get her back in. Nice little red ear. This place has got all kinds of stuff then. That's crazy. I'm starting to wonder, could it have flathead? Or big channels? I'm almost thinking it would have big channels at least. 
I've just never caught one yet. I guess I need to use a long, longer shank hook or something. Oh yeah, different kind again, bluegill. <laughs> no, he did it again. <sighs> Let's just go buy a thousand hooks at Walmart. Good Lord, man. All of them are decent size for their kind. Barely, oh my god, oh, did you see that? Yep, he must have came right from there. It was a moccasin, too, or a cotton mouth, one of the two. It was black, I think it was a moccasin. God, I'm glad I didn't hook it. Yeah, I think he went way out. I don't know. Damn, hey, man, that's almost big. He didn't swallow the hook. Well, thank you, buddy. <laughs> that's bigger than the first, but the one she caught was two inches bigger than this, out right in front of the tree, on behind us, the big tree. That's a keeper sized one. All right, folks, I got a nice male bluegill again. This one's bigger. It'll go six and a half. Not bad. We're still at spot number one. We're going to three. And uh, so far so good. Just not getting the bowfin like we're after. Third spot we're, or the second spot we're going to is bowfin and largemouth. And then the third spot is strictly largemouth. And probably a crappie or two on accident. Here it's just a little everything so far. Oh my God, look at that one. They get bigger and bigger. He's almost seven. Yeah, about, yeah, almost seven. All three have been males. What's the deal with only males? That's what I want though for bluegill. You want the orange one. That's a nice bluegill there. When you, when you can't put your hand around them like that, there's, considered starting to be big oh yeah that's a nice bluegill guys another male i say he's right at seven inch i thought they were gone and scared away from there but not yet damn mosquitoes are so bad up there i won't even go there till about october now e even in the daytime they'll they'll get you I got one now. There we go. A little bluegill. <sighs> They're getting smaller. That, them first three bluegill I caught were seven inches. And I, the red ear wasn't too bad. He was probably six and a half. That crappie caught me off guard though. I thought he was a bullhead because I had the weight completely setting on the bottom. It was resting. So I, crappie don't bite on the bottom. Not too often. Uh -uh. He must have just been sitting on the bottom. Only thing I can think of. We're gonna call some nice crappies here. Oh yeah. I had the best place out of anybody around here and it got ruined. I can't go there no more. There in the winter time and get them. Oh, he's on there. Red ear again, yeah. Yeah. I learned real quick one day, I made a mistake of putting my canoe in there in August in the morning. I was thinking, oh, mosquitoes ain't gonna bother me in the daytime. I stayed there about 15 minutes, I was gone. <laughs> I had about 100 bites on my knuckles. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a nice little red ear. Yeah. These little places will surprise you. They got them warm out too, I like them. All right, folks, I got red ear number two, about the same, about a little six, six-incher. 
we're getting right ahead to spot number two. I make videos on YouTube. Not bad at all. You think it's safe to eat fish out of here? Yeah. I would think that it, since they're pumping it through the fields, it kind of filters out after a while. Finally into a bass. We've been here for two hours, man. We were just saying, you know, we need to come back in the evening sometime and we're here at we've been here we got here at like noon it's like 1 15 it's a 90 something degrees no wind just the heat of the day and finally it paid off i just told him i just had a bite but it felt like a uh, tiny bluegill it was too small to eat it and it was a large mouth i guess unless it was just a different fish it's only about a pound i caught him on the swim bait finally hey there's hope <laughs> Get him back in, I guess. I'm just happy to get anything. All right, largemouth bass, about 12 inches. That's pretty cool. I was starting to wonder if this lure can be seen because it don't look like you can see it down very far. That may have been what was swimming right there, I guess. Have a feeling. No? Oh, it's a little bluegill. All right, folks, I just got bluegill number four, I think, maybe five. Little guy. Thought it was a bullhead the way it was acting. He's a little. Dang, I got another bite already, though. Holy moly! Another nice bluegill. That ain't bad for this little tiny... We're just in a little pothole, guys. And that's a keeper bluegill. My goodness. More in there than I thought there'd be, I guess. That's a nice male. Bad. <laughs> I just drop it right in front of the gutter and I lower it maybe six inches. That's it, because it's only a foot deep and they bite it just right here. Talk about weird, man. You wouldn't think there's nothing in here. Seeing how quick I get a bite this time though. You gotta thin them out after a minute or two. They got three, it's coming from that direction, diagonal and from the side. All at once. Oh, I, yeah, that's right, you wore shorts. My arms are fried from yesterday, Thursday and today. Oh, my arms are fried today. You can see that right there. Oh yeah, bad. God. I'm feeling it right now. Oh yeah. The sun hitting them. Four fish on one worm. My hook's showing, but they still keep biting it. That's why I'm probably getting the smaller ones though. I honestly I don't think there's any giants up here. It's weird, I just lower it down like eight inches. There he is. It's small, I can already tell by the way he's biting it. He ain't taking it properly. 